Hi, I'm M. Moda with Make. Make contributor Alistair Bland introduced us to the super simple circuit design back in 2009. It takes higher voltage alternating current, AC, from a retro style bike headlight generator, converts it to direct current, DC, and steps it down to a safe voltage for charging your cell phone or other mobile device. This project uses an old style bike generator, which is technically considered to be an alternator, a very simple and reliable generator that turns rotational momentum into AC electricity. The circuit consists of a rectifier, a capacitor, and a voltage regulator. The rectifier converts the back and forth wiggling of the charges in AC to a steady stream of DC. The large capacitor helps smooth out the voltage levels, and the voltage regulator holds the incoming DC power down at a steady 5 volts, which is what most cell phones and other mobile devices are designed to accept. This project is relatively simple and can be easily made by following the instructions on the project page using these parts and these tools. To get started, Drill a centered one quarter inch hole in each end of the box and another in the lid. Install a grommet in each of the holes you just drilled. Then mount the clip on the outside of the lid using a machine screw secured with a nut and washers. Bend the LM7805 voltage regulator's left input lead and its center ground lead away from each other as shown. Cut two small jumpers from hookup wire, one red and one black, and strip the end of each jumper. Solder the red jumper to the regulator's input lead and the black jumper to its ground lead. Then trim the excess from the two leads. Secure the LM7805 in one corner of the box using a screw in one of the mounting holes. Slip an insulated lug over the regulator's right output lead and secure to the adjacent mounting hole using a screw. Then crimp the lug with a wire tool. The rectifier's positive output lead will be indicated with a small plus sign on top of the case. The negative output lead may or may not be marked, but it will always be directly opposite the positive lead. Bend the output leads up and out from the sides of the rectifier case as shown. Bend the capacitor leads directly away from each other as well, and making sure the polarities match, positive to positive and negative to negative, stack the capacitor on top of the rectifier and twist the leads together. Next, solder the free end of the black jumper to the negative side of the capacitor-rectifier combo. Then solder the free end of the red jumper to the positive leads, as shown. Loosely secure a bare lug to each of the two remaining mounting holes using screws, and thread the rectifier's AC input leads into the lugs. Tighten down the screws and use a wire tool to crimp the lugs to the rectifier leads. Then trim away the excess from each lead. Cut the adapter plug cable in half and thread the ends into the box through the grommets at each end. Tie a strain relief knot inside the box on each cable and separate the individual cables on the free ends. Strip the end of each lead and securely crimp an insulated lug to each of the four leads. One at a time, remove and reinstall the screws from the mounting holes in the box, securing the lugs from the adapter plug cable as shown. The polarity on the rectifier side doesn't matter, but on the regulator side, make sure the lead with the white stripe is connected to the positive output. Connect the adapter plug micro USB adapter to the DC voltage regulator side of the adapter plug cable, making sure that the adapter's plus sign is aligned with the word tip on the plug socket. Install the lid on the project box and secure with the four bundled case screws. Now your charger is ready to be installed on a bike. Attach the project box to your bike frame with the clip. Mount the generator to your bike according to its directions. Route the AC input cable from the project box along your bike frame to the generator, keeping it well clear of all moving parts. Secure the cable with cable ties to make sure it stays put. Cut off the plug at the end of the cable at the generator. Separate the leads of the cable and strip the ends of each lead. Secure the bare stripped ends to the generator output terminals. It doesn't matter which lead goes to which terminal. Now all you need is a phone with a tired battery and you're set. Plug your phone into the micro USB adapter and secure it along with any excess cable in a bag or other carrier attached to your bike. You're now ready to recharge your depleted phone while pedaling. Charge your phone on your daily commute or use the charger to keep your music going strong with a portable sound system. And don't forget to check the project page and share your ideas, mods, and experiences.